Hey everyone, this is Kai from World Class Card Fighters, and today we'll be watching a video submitted by Derek from his shop qualifier. And this is the top four match between OTT and Shadows. And we can see that OTT is going first, which in this matchup where the OTT is favored, that's a big deal. Um, but we can see that OTT is not actually playing the standard build that you'd think OTT would be playing. It's actually playing Magus. So we get to see a nice little twist on the OTT deck and see what it can do. Um, Derek's developed his domain, which is very nice. That's You always want to develop domain, and that's puts him in a good position, even though he's going second. Um, but now we'll see... He's the OTT players rode a rhombus magus and then called a rectangle magus. So this time he's gonna stack his deck. We can see a crit. Very nice, gonna draw a card. And if Derek doesn't guard here, he it's quite likely he's gonna just go straight to three. Um Is he just gonna take it? Yep, he took it. Crit power. And does he get any checks? None. So probably just gonna take this. Yep, goes to three, that's fine. But now, Derek has a lot of counter blast to play with. And he can just probably... If he has a full field, it's actually not that bad. And we can see him ride Blaster Dark. Now, interesting thing. If this Magus deck is running just pure Magus, he won't be running Promised Daughter. And Promised Daughter is so good in the Shadow Paladin matchup. Being able to stop Blaster Darks, being able to stop Gust Blaster, and then minimize the damage of PBD just by existing. So if he's not playing that promise order, which he likely isn't, that might be a big factor in this game. So we can see Derek's developed a full forward already, and he can probably counter his counter attack his opponent to the equivalent damage that he is. So probably just push him to three. But that crit trigger might change things. Might change things. So gets a heal, very good. Derek's getting that heal puts him in a really good position, um, forcing his opponent to guard here. You don't want to go to 4 that early, even though you're going first, definitely. So, the OTT player rides Pentagonal Magus. Now, that's a pretty big... That's pretty bad. Um, Pentagonal just doesn't do anything, except give Trigger's power. Um, and he's going to commit a Tetra Magus. Uh, is he going to stack? He stacks. You actually don't have to stack a cut, but he puts a crit, and Derek's not going to guard, so he's going to go to four. Oh, he goes to five. Um, so just then, I'd like to say something. Um, by not committing another regard, he's just wasted like 30k of trigger power, and that would have totally put Derek in a very bad position. Um, yeah, 30k, he definitely has to guard it because he's going straight to 5. Um, so, unfortunately, that's a lot of trigger power wasted, and Derek just is now able to just commit a full field and just bash him. Um, one thing, though, is that if his hand, if the OTT player's hand is not that great, um, he has less ways to actually recover his hand compared to a normal... Uh, OTT deck simply because he doesn't have an Imperial Daughter that he rides every turn to get a protect marker and a extra draw and that extra scry is also not available for him but because of Pentagonal he's able to dig his deck further uh, just to try and confirm some more drive checks and now he's ridden his second Pentagonal he's committing a front field um, but this field is also very weak. Um, it's just like nothing hitting any decent numbers against Force. 12k of a Pena Drive against a Force Clan, sure, that's okay. And it looks like Derek doesn't have any nulls. So this is going well in his favor, except for the fact that he doesn't have any cards in his hand. He's only one. Um, and he got rid of that Protect just then. Um, and yeah, that. Curio Magus is not hitting anything, that Rhombus Magus is not hitting anything, so not that good yet. Derek's gunning for four, and uh, okay, this is how you get advantage with Pentagonal, you trigger draws, um, and he's uh, triggered a heal as well, that's good, that's good, that puts him back down to three, 
He's putting it all on Rhombus, though. I, I wouldn't put it all on Rhombus. He gets another draw. He gets another draw. Okay. E easy game. Easy game. Um, but he again puts it on Rhombus. Now, I wouldn't put three triggers on Rhombus because that means that his opponent can just no-guard. That Rhombus does not have any crit at all. So, if he attacks that Vanguard, Derek just takes it. And that Cure just doesn't do anything. Now, if you put at least one power on that Cure, uh, that Cure may get sort of hit. The Vanguard, regardless of power, or he could attack the Maha, which is also a good play. Getting rid of Mahas in this matchup is pretty important, because it just makes the Charons dead. Uh, so, yeah, get rid of the Mahas. The Maha itself is a great card, even without the Charon. You can just call another grade 1 and just get 5k to hit those numbers. So, um, don't just focus on hitting the Vanguard all the time, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Derek, good. He gets a second Force Marker. In this matchup, you want to get a lot of Force Markers. You want to... It's more important to rewrite to get that passive power, uh, and then give it... Just gain passive power every turn to drain OTT's hand. And Derek's going to attack the Regard here because he sees that his opponent did not trigger many Regards at all. So his opponent is going to have to devote his hand to guard these Regards or his he might not have anything to play next turn. So he's going to get, get a free card off this as well. Going to be able to retire a free card. So yeah... Definitely, it's like, opponent's likely going to just null this, otherwise he's dead. Um, but his hands, like, all those cards are pretty decent. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to null here. I would have null the Hexagonal for sure. I would, probably would have nulled, like, maybe a, maybe that Rippus Magus, or like a heal or something like that. But yeah, definitely not the Hexagonal. You want to ride every turn to get a Protect. And in his situation right now, that extra draw would be pretty critical. Um, so his turn, he's got nothing to ride. He's got nothing to ride. And he's going to commit nothing. Now, this is like giving a free turn for Derek. Derek was in a pretty bad position. He hit five early. But the first mistake was committing not another card to put the power on. To drain Derek's hand again. And now, discarding that hexagonal might have been another big misplay in my opinion. Because this turn is such a weak turn. Such a weak turn. Derek just has to commit two cards to fully guard that. Doesn't even have to commit a null if he has one. He can save that for a later turn. And then he, he can just put another card. He plays the Maha. Uses Maha's skill. And gets a Charon off that as well. That is so good for Derek. Free turn, free cards, free attacks. Derek's hand is just gonna become bigger now, but one thing that we wanna just make sure is that Shadow Palin does draw a like, oh my god, double heal, double heal, that's, that's pretty disgusting, that's pretty disgusting, I don't wanna feel like the OTT player right now seeing a double heal, but back to the point I was making before, Shadow Paladin does draw a lot of cards, and as you can see, Derek's deck is starting to look very low. We don't know the exact count, but it's getting low. And again, the OTT player can commit nothing else to the field. Cause a booster, that's it. This is, again, another free turn for Derek. He, he might even be able to just no-guard this. He just check triggers, maybe no-guard, get like some more damage so he can play the game more. But he might not want to risk it. He might sense he's in a very good position and just fully guard this. Look, a full full guard. Full guard there. Opponent finally gets another hexagonal Magus. He should keep that, then play the rectangle next turn. He's got cards to play then. He's got a field. Might be able to try and do something. But one thing we definitely want to keep an eye out on is Derek's deck count. Because it is definitely looking really low. Now at this moment, it's good. His opponent's at 5. He doesn't have to bother with getting crits on Gus Blaster. That could be why he just fully guarded that as well. He doesn't need the Counter Blast anymore. His hand looks good. Doesn't need crits. Doesn't need to use effects. He can just start, just play a field and just bash him. Um, and his opponent is forced to guard all those, to just use up his hand to guard that. Now, 
this is looking pretty bad for the OTT player. There is, like, nothing in his hand, really. Um, one thing you have to be careful of is you still have to worry about the PBD. You don't want to play three cards on the field. You want to play, like, twos, fours, and fives. Um, yeah, he plays the rectangle as expected. And what is he going to get? We can't really see what he gets, unfortunately. But he draws in pentagonal magus. Now, hmm... Is he going to play Pentagonal next turn and ride it? That's the question. I don't want to use the effect of Pentagonal, a Pentagonal again. Because right now, I, I would expect OTT's deck count to be higher than Derek's deck. So you don't have to use Pentagonal's effect. Because if you do, you might be lower. Your deck count might get lower. So... We'll see what he does next turn, but this turn, he's just committing a rectangle. And that's it. That's it. Stacked his deck. So, let's see what comes out from that trigger. Derek's guarding for... Is he going to full guard this? Could be. Could be. 43. That's for 2, I think. So, no pass. No pass now. So, first check, nothing. Second check, nothing again. He has another hexagonal as well. It's actually not that bad. Um, rectangle not able to hit, unfortunately. Uh, so, what is Derek going to do now? Derek definitely should be aware of his deck count, right? I don't want to... <laughs> you don't want to suddenly deck out, for sure. Um, right now, he's in an interesting position. If he takes any damage as well, he's lowering his turn count, his clock... The clock is ticking for him. Is that a situation, yeah, where you don't want to take damage? Because then you start... You start going away. You, you start losing just from the deck. So, no effects. Can't use any effects, of course, because no counter boss. It's just going to bash face. Just going to bash face. And OTT should be able to easily go. So, OTT's discarded the hexagonal, and Derek's triggered a draw trigger. And now we can see that Derek only has three cards in his deck. Now, it's... Uh, uh, I think Derek probably should just go for face, make his opponent drop his hand. Um, drop his hand and then maybe hope that he has enough force markers to push out the gate. He can't twin drive next turn at all. Can't twin drive next turn, so he has to force his opponent. Yeah, he's going to have to push his opponent. Um... So here, his opponent, yeah, he's going to ride Pentagonal. He does. Now, I hope he doesn't use its effect. I actually hope he doesn't use Pentagonal's effect. Because that's going to be... That might lose him the game, unfortunately. He's going to use Col Tetra. Going to use the effect. Is he going to stack? Can he stack? No, he doesn't stack. Pushes it up. Calls another Magus. And then... Oh dear, oh dear, he's going to use the effect, he's penta driving. And Derek has the null, he triggered it before, so I think that was such a huge waste. <coughs> Definitely shouldn't have penta drive, he know Derek had the null from the drive check, and it's possible that he just loses the deck out wall. Um, Derek's deciding what to discard, and we see the drive check. Gets a heal. Now here's something really interesting. Okay, it gets a draw. Okay, that's not good. Draws are not good in this situation. And then doesn't trigger anything else. So here's an interesting situation. He has only three cards on the field. And that heal could be bad news for him. Remember when we said we want to not keep our rear guards in threes? We don't want to just have three. Um, since Derek is playing Blaster Dark, you don't want to have fours. Just for that reach. Um, but wow, yeah. He only has threes, so this is a PBD field. Okay? If Derek has a PBD and a Curse Lancer, he could wipe the field and ping one. And pinging one in this situation is actually insane, because... The OTT player triggered the heal, so now he can get pinged. So, not sure if he thought that far ahead, 
But Derek blocked everything. Interesting love. Blocked everything. He could have actually just taken one damage. So I think he has the Curse Lancer. I think that card there, that, that red card on top of his hand, is a Curse Lancer. So if he has a PBD, ooh, there's the PBD. And then if he has a Curse Lancer, he gets on CB, he can use PBD's effect, and he can ping one. And I think that would be game. I think that's game. Derek's just thinking there. But yeah, that Penta Drive totally cost him, cost the OTT play the game. He actually didn't even need a Penta Drive in that situation at all. He got the Protect, which should be enough, because his other guard is pretty good. And uh, he would have triggered the heal and the draw. If he even committed one more card, this play wouldn't have worked. So now, yeah, Derek rode the PBD and had the Curse Lancer and that is the ping. That is the ping. And I think that is game. I don't think there is a way for the OTT player to respond in this situation. Because unlike a Force Clan, OTT doesn't just get free power for no reason from Force Markers. While Derek Swan does, if this was like a... Even if Derek had lower deck count than his opponent and he couldn't Toon Drive, for two turns, he can just bash of giant powered force marker columns and that could also have spelt the game for his opponent but yeah these small misplays from the ott player i think really cost him the game um first one was discarding that hexagonal magus and actually first one was not calling any uh regards to profit from the drive checks the double crit then he discarded the hexagonal which means his game plan did not work, and then using the second pentagonal, I think, really lost this game. And there's the scoop. There's the scoop. Derek taking the win from the with that PBD kill and ping. Really insane game. Heals everywhere. Yeah, that's a game of Vanguard. I'll see you guys in the next video.